is the biggest tsunami in GTA 5, and somehow Franklin and Chop are stuck in the middle of it. Which is why I have decided to play as Michael today, and we barricade his house in preparation for this tsunami. We've seen a lot of tsunamis before, and if this one really is the biggest, then it's gonna be colossal. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can hear it. Oh my days, dude, it must be coming towards this house like any second now. So every window is barricaded, every gap, every space has been completely secured and hammered down. I even put planks on the ceiling because Michael has a skylight there. And I even barricaded all of the rooms. Tracy and Jimmy weren't exactly too happy about that. I really hope this holds. <laughs> it's getting even louder. Guys, smash like on this video if you think this is gonna hold. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. First of its kind. Oh, ooh, ooh. Wait, guys, I think it just did. Did you hear that? Oh, my days. This house is creaking. <laughs> we must be underwater by now, surely. No way. We are underwater. Check this out. Whatever you do, don't open a window. This is crazy. I can't believe we are underwater. Looks like my barricade worked. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my days. Are those leaks? That's not supposed to happen. Even more leaks. Oh no, there's so many of them. They're coming from my skylight too. Okay, right. Well, this isn't necessarily bad. You know, we are under thousands of meters of water, so I'm not surprised there's a little bit of leakage and stuff. We'll be fine in here. We're we'll waiting for the tsunami to play out, and everything is gonna be a-okay. I don't like the sound of that. But don't worry, I got a backup plan. In fact, it's in my garage. You guys really think I would barricade myself in the house and be trapped here? No. <laughs> I knew there was a tsunami coming. This thing was just my first layer of defense. And as it stands, nothing's getting... Whoa! Oh, jeez! I think it just broke down. <laughs> Maybe we should have gone to the backup plan first, Mike. <laughs> Good job you packed your scuba gear. Imagine life without that. Well, it wouldn't really exist, would it? <laughs> oh, whoa, check this out. My entire house is underwater. Okay. Well, oh, jeez. Okay, the maid didn't make it, guys. No, Michael, don't take off. Okay, Michael's gone rogue. He doesn't need a scuba tank. That's cool. <laughs> Whatever he wanted to do, I guess. Let's go and get my boats. All right, this is my backup plan. I was about to get into it before, but the tsunami came through and rudely interrupted me. Now we just got to wiggle this out the garage, and away we go. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. Okay, this is a very deep tsunami. Even the Eclipse Towers is underwater. But how deep is this? Well, here's the surface. And three, two, one. Boom! Straight through. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Maze Bank? Whoa. Hey, wait. This isn't the biggest tsunami I've seen. There was an even bigger one the other day. And that's because there's another tsunami coming, which is apparently going to be 100,000 feet high. Yep, that's going to be pretty tall. And the reason why we're playing as Michael is so I can rescue Franklin and Chop, who were stupid enough to get caught on the beach. Come on, let's go get him, Mike. Now, the million-dollar question is where's the beach? <laughs> Everything looks the same. This is crazy. All I can see is the the blimp, the maze bank, and the crane. Where would the beach be? All right, I'm gonna have to use the map for this. Oh, here we go. There's the beach. Okay, so that's where Franklin was last seen. He's a tough cookie. He'll be alive somewhere. Just gotta find him. And whilst we head over to find him, I want to let you know that something crazy will happen if you press that subscribe button. I don't know what it is, but I really want you guys to find out. So press the button and let me know what it is. <laughs> is it good or is it bad? I really hope it's not bad. There he is. I found Franklin. But hey, where's Chop? Uh, this doesn't look good. If Chop was with Franklin, I saw him at the start of the video. Oh, jeez. Okay, we better get him on this boat. There are sharks about. Come on, Franklin, get on. So we rescued Franklin, but I have no idea where Chop is. Maybe we'll get some luck on this? No, wait, Chop's still alive. He's not at Franklin's house. He's down at the bottom of the beach. Okay, well, let's go find him. And let's go find him quickly. I don't like the looks of these sharks. They're, like, going around us like animals. Come on. This might not be the biggest tsunami yet, but it's coming. And those sharks are gonna feel it, trust me. <laughs> What's that? Oh, they're just things in the water. Honestly, I thought I saw a sea monster for a second. I mean, my eyes keep tricking me when there's this much water about. But I wanna know what's up with Chop, because I still don't see anything, and apparently he's right down here. Do you reckon he's floating on something? 
I mean, there's no way he's inside another house. Or could he be? So according to this, Jop is basically in front of me. But I don't see anything. Which means only one thing. He can't swim. He's gotta be stuck underwater in a building. Luckily for us, I got scuba gear. Franklin, look out for the boats. I'm gonna go and find Jump. This is crazy. Whoa! I can't even see the bottom. But once the dust clears out, it's actually pretty beautiful. Check it out. Everything is exactly as it was before the tsunami. Well, there's the beach. There's the tennis courts. It's so empty. Not a single car in sight. That tsunami must have destroyed all of them. So Chop's in one of these buildings. I don't know which one, but he would have gone into one which is really easy to get into. I mean, we could take a look at these stores. Oh, here we go. There's a door. There's a door. Yeah, Chop could have gone through this. Can we see anything, Michael? Anyone in there? Nope, okay, there's no one in that room. I mean, this is a pretty good spot to go to. If you're running from a tsunami, you would pick the first place you could find. But all of these are open. Okay, Chop didn't go into this building. He must have gone into the one behind it. Let's find out if we're right. One of these condos, I guess? What happens if I open a door? Like, is it just gonna flood? <laughs> Surely that's not a good idea. All right, let's give it a go. Three. Two, one, go! Ugh, he's alive! Yes! And we didn't flood the house either. This is pretty good. Not a leak in the ceiling. How is this place all right? But my house wasn't. Okay, Chop hasn't got any scuba gear. He can't swim, so... Maybe we uh, figure out a plan to get him back to the surface. I just saw how deep that was. And that's not even the biggest tsunami. I'll be back, boy. I promise. All right, I'm just going to figure out something. Okay, give me a second. Now I know Chop's safe. All I got to do is find a way to get him out of that house. Because if I bring him out now, he's going to drown before he gets to the top. Speaking of which, I can't even see the top. I can just about see sunlight. <laughs> All right, let's think, Michael. Let's think. All we need is a little vessel. It could be a car. It could be anything. Just something we can use to get him to the top of the surface. What's this guy doing? Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> I think you want to get to the surface, right? Okay, I'll just let him spin around in circles. He's officially gone crazy. And now he's officially dead. There we go. <laughs> of course. Finding a car is going to be pretty hard when all the car parks are empty. Is there anywhere close by we could check? Any secret garages which maybe open up like this one? Oh, could you imagine if this door actually opens? Ah, oh, man, I thought it would. It's locked. That's annoying. Okay, we'll keep looking, though. There's got to be something, somewhere, where we can find a car or anything to get Chop out of here. Ooh, check it out. I found a money truck. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Wait, those guys were in the truck? Hey, oh, no, no they're dead as well. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you need a scuba tank when you're in a tsunami, all right? It's literally rule one. Let's see, what cash was in the back? Is there anything good? Ah, oh, man, the cash floated to the surface. There's nothing left. But at least I found a car. Nope, this car's broken. It, I can't get in. Great. So we got to somehow find a car in a tsunami which hasn't already flooded. Yeah, th that literally sounds impossible. How am I going to do that? I may have just found the first garage. Check it out. This is an apartment block, and down there is an underground car park. <laughs> I own one of these flats, so I would know. It is a little bit far from the beach, but this is the closest place I can think of, which means there's got to be something in one of these car parks. It's kind of strange just swimming around, and the only thing you can hear is bubbles, and that's it. But here we go. We're going in. Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, so it is a little bit flooded still. Michael doesn't need, need a scoop gear anymore, clearly. <laughs> is there anything? Anything? Come on, please. Something. <gasps> I found something. I found a car. Right. You know the drill, Mike. Get in the car. We're getting in this. Yeah. Oh, my days. It works. It's a Stromberg. Wait a minute. Isn't this the, the submarine car? Oh, my days. I have found a submarine car. Could this day get any better than this? I don't think it can. <laughs> Let's get out of here. This is awesome. Check it out as well. I got missiles. <laughs> I can fire them at anything I want to. And now it's a tsunami. I don't think anyone can stop me either. Hold up. I found another car. There's one in the road. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it with this. I know I'm supposed to go and get shop and stuff, but this is way more fun. I will get him, I promise. So line this up, Mike. We got to make sure this is lined up. Oh, this is kind of tricky to, to sail around in a tsunami. Whoop! <laughs> no! 
Oh, man, I think I missed. Okay, you know what we should do? We should actually rescue Chubb. I, I don't know if he's gonna survive in that building or by himself. Let's go get him. Just cruising down one of the high streets. It was just yesterday, and Mike was buying a brand new outfit in one of those stores. And he went to the cinema as well. He wanted to watch a new movie. I think it was Dune or something. Ah, good times. Good times. Yeah, this world's never gonna be the same again. If you think this is bad, you wait until you see the next tsunami. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Do you know what happens when there's so much water above you? I mean, we're lucky to even be alive right now. But if this was any deeper, it would crush the car, it would crush me, it would crush the buildings, it would crush the entire world. I'm pretty sure that's part of a police station. Why else would there be a helipad? Man, I'm discovering so many things right now. Hey, burger shop, my favorite place. Man, if only I could get some burgers. Nope, that's the police station. I knew it. So I wonder why there was a helipad there. Man, I didn't even know that existed. So if everything's gone to plan, I'm pretty sure that's the building he's in. Should we find out? Franklin's not going to be happy if we find out it's too late. <laughs> Job. Job? I, I, man, he better be alive, actually. Well, this is gonna ruin our friendship. The moment of truth. He's alive! Oh, thank you! <laughs> Come on, Chop, we're going! Hold on to something, boy, because we are blasting off to the surface. Yeah, bet it's been a while since you've seen the sun. <laughs> oh, wait, I flipped, I flipped the car already. That was not meant to happen. Luckily, we're underwater. <laughs> Maybe I just won't touch anything, and that should do the trick. Whew, what a crazy adventure. What do you think, Chop? Do you like the views? You like what you see? I can take you back down anytime. Way! <laughs> now, where did I leave Franklin? I think it was this way. Let's take another bit. Yep, that's the boat. All right, we're going in the right direction. What'd I say? I told you I'd get Chop. Oh, wait a minute. There's a shark. Right, come here, you. You are not getting this boat. Uh, where do you go? Where do you go? Oh, don't fall in. Don't fall in. There's sharks around us. <laughs> oh, there you are. I see your body. You're not tricking anyone. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> what was that? Whoa! I didn't see that when I came up. Where did you come from? It's an aircraft carrier. It belongs to Fort Sankudo. They must be using this to evacuate people. Thanks for picking us up. You got planes, helicopters, you even training people in the back. This place has it all. And I know the next tsunami's gonna be crazy. We're gonna need this if we want to survive. Could you imagine going up against a hundred thousand foot tsunami when you're in that? <laughs> it's gonna fall to pieces. We're gonna be underwater like 10,000 feet down. At least I got one of these though. That's kind of fun. And you know what? It still seems pretty clear. You know what I'm thinking? I want to do more exploring. <laughs> I'll be back, I promise. But now I've rescued Shop. We got a little bit of free time. And there's a few things I want to do. The Union Depository. This is the biggest bank vault in the entire world. I'm breaking in. No one's gonna stop me. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. If this bank vault has as much money as I think it's gonna have, then we're gonna be extremely rich when this tsunami finally leaves us. <laughs> we're gonna have all the gold in the world. All we gotta do is get into that vault. That's all we gotta do. So gently does it. Yep, they left the door open. <laughs> Oh, man, these guys really screwed up. I think this is as far as we can go in the car. So it looks like we got to swim from here on. At least my car ain't going anywhere. Let's do this. Do you reckon the elevator's going to open? There's no way it still works. We're in a tsunami. There's no... Oh, man, it... Oh, wait, it does open. What? I'm in. <laughs> we can go down. We arrived... The Union Depository Vault. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try my luck here and just go into the actual door. And if that doesn't work, we can always put down a sticky or something. But hopefully this... Oh, yeah, they left it open. <laughs> yeah. Now what kind of... Ooh, gold is inside. Check it out. There's so much gold. There's gold there. There's gold there. There's gold there. There's gold everywhere. There's even gold there. <laughs> okay, I'm grabbing all of this and getting back to that carrier. We've just made 10 trillion dollars. <laughs> 10 trillion. We'll keep it a secret between me and you, though, all right? I don't want you guys, you know, telling anyone about this. <laughs> Especially the people on the carrier. But do you hear that? No way. That's the noise of the next tsunami. 
I didn't think the alarm would actually work. I gotta get to the surface as quickly as possible. The next tsunami's coming. And this is the biggest tsunami in GTA 5. I mean, that's what they're saying. This gold is weighing me down. Come on, get to the top. If I don't get back to that carrier, we might not survive the next tsunami. I need to be there. I have 10 trillion dollars. Almost at the top. Urgh, come on, come on, bro, come on. And yes, we made it to the top. Oh my, that is really far away. We ought to get moving. Can this car go any faster? Come on, dude, it's literally there. If we're caught out in the open in this tsunami, we're screwed. I mean, this car ain't gonna make it. Phew, that was a close one. Almost got caught out right in the open. And just in time. Do you hear that? That's the next tsunami. It's coming. We gotta hold on to something. Quick, hold on to uh, this thing. We're gonna be okay. We can do this. Whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> hold on. Don't let go. I think we're okay. Did we survive? Ooh, wait, guys. I can see some water underneath. Oh, my days, guys. It, we're still floating. We're still floating. We're not underwater. <laughs> That's a good sign. I need to check this out myself. Are we... Okay, it's raining a little bit, but that's okay. Nothing we can't handle. We're okay. We survived. <laughs> that was crazy. Wait, can we see anything? Anything at all? I mean, a hundred thousand foot tsunami is gonna be big. There's no way we can see anything. Hey, maybe if I drive this. All right, this is us. This, th yep, there's, there's nothing. There is nothing. <laughs> Where am I? All right, this is us. We're right in the center of Los Santos. We did survive. All of the planes have gone. I want to take a look down at the bottom of the ocean. How do all the houses do? How's everything down there? I'm taking a look, and we're just using scuba gear. Let's do this. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't see a thing. All right, it's going to be a long swim down. I uh, hope your ears don't get too blocked. <laughs> I don't know how high up we are. That's the craziest thing. I mean, surely if it's a 100,000 foot tsunami, we're 100,000 feet high, right? I mean, that's the logic. Might take us a while to get to the bottom. I'm expecting to find the deepest sea creatures down there, like some species I've never, ever seen before. <laughs> this is gonna be wild. Do you want to see something spooky? I don't know which way is up or down. Everything just looks the same. If I'm near a shark, I can't tell. I'm not at the bottom yet, in case you're wondering. We've still got a long way to go. <laughs> I can't even see the surface. There is barely any daylight. Oh my days. It's gone. Everything's gone. Hey, get a little bit closer. It's just sand. This tsunami has crushed everything in Los Santos. Look at where I am. This is meant to be the city. Whoa, that's how deep we are right now. <laughs> well, guys, we've officially survived the biggest tsunami in GTA 5. And if you enjoyed the video, smash like and help us get to 7 million subscribers. You're missing out on videos like this every single day. Thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and until next time, stay awesome.